Good morning, everyone. Are you ready for a market recap? Well, <laughs> this one's going to be quick. So first, this is me on my way to the market. Well, good morning, everyone. Um, I got a late start this morning, and I'm holding my camera in the wrong direction, so sorry about that. But somebody out there decided to rain on my parade today. It is raining and it is supposed to rain all day. And I'm 15 minutes late leaving the house, but I am finally on the expressway. And yeah. Hopefully it's not raining when I get there so that when I go to carry everything in it doesn't get soaking wet. Oh my goodness. So today was supposed to be a test to see if I wanted to sign up for this crafters market again because they do it every two weeks and I was hoping to sign up for March 30th if today went well. Well, when I checked, March, March 30th is already sold out. It's booked, which I was kind of bummed about that. But it looks like because of this rain, if it doesn't clear up, that today might not be a good test day. So, yeah, that's not a good view to really see the rain but you know it is what it is so I decided to take the other route the expressway route and pay the toll because going east there were a whole lot less lights and there's a lot less traffic on <clears throat> the expressway versus the interstate and this puts me five miles closer to the venue than um, what the interstate would. I'd have 26 miles of lights and traffic versus five miles taking the expressway. So it was totally, hopefully, totally worth the toll. So I am going to put this down and pay attention to my driving and I will update you again very shortly. Wasn't that interesting? Now, of course, we try not to forget anything and be prepared and have the car loaded the night before and all that good stuff. But alas, I did forget something. I forgot my tripod, so I didn't get very much market footage. But here is my setup before the market opened.
looked pretty nice, didn't it? So now I'm going to show you the tables right before breakdown and see if you can spot some of the very obvious items that are no longer there. <laughs> Could you tell which ones were missing? Well, if not, I'm going to tell you what I sold. But this is what happened yesterday. Yesterday was going to be a test to see if I wanted to sign up for more markets at this crafters market because they do it every two weeks. And I, I wanted to test the waters to see if it's something, you know, that I would continue to sign up for. It would be nice to be somewhere that you're there regularly and maybe you can pick up some regular customers or some custom orders, you know, stuff like that. So my test day was ruined. It rained all day long. Now, fortunately, when you get to the venue, it's at a hotel. They, they rent the, the conference room of the hotel and it's a small market. You get eight vendors inside, four vendors outside. They have a food truck that comes out. The guy puts out signs at both entrances. They advertise heavily on Facebook. All the different vendors that are setting up also advertise themselves on their own social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, whatever. So when I get there, you get to pull up underneath their canopy. I'm like, thank God, because it is, it's pouring. And they also allow you to use their um, luggage dollies to bring your stuff in, which was great because you get it all in one trip. So I was able to get all my stuff loaded and then I had to leave it. And then I moved my car, parked and ran back over. So I get inside and right away, you know, they, the people that are regulars there, they know I'm new. And Pat from Pat's Potions, she's like, do you need to know where to set up? And well, I'm a good girl. I read my emails. I knew where I was supposed to go, but that was very nice of her to offer. So I said, I think I'm right there. And she pulls it up. She goes, yes, you are. So I go over and I do my, my start doing my setup. And then the person that's next to me shows up and then I'm seeing how much little space is in between. So I asked Pat, am I allowed to move these tables? And she says, oh yes. So I adjusted the table so it would la allow a little more space in between the person next to me. And she also did the same thing too. All I could see was that somebody with a big bag, you know, they go trying to walk down her side table to see her stuff and then try to turn around and get out and to avoid knocking one vendor's items over, they would knock the other items over. So we created a nice pathway. Now, if I was thinking, I would have had my side aisle adjacent to hers so that it made like a little aisle, like they'd walk in and look at mine and then be able to turn around and look at hers. But I didn't think that far in advance. But we were able to create more space so that People didn't knock things over. Now, of course, that would require people showing up. But that's beside the point. So, we get it. I get it all set up. And it's like a half hour to spare before opening. Because the market's 11 to 4. They will give you free breakfast if you want it. I ate before I left the house. So, I didn't. I skipped the breakfast. But, boy, come lunchtime, I was starving. <laughs> So I'm there, and about 11.18, I had my first sale. 
And then I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh my gosh, I am so bored. So luckily I brought some stuff with me this time to work on. Now, mind you, it was just scrunchies, but that was because I didn't have to count. I just keep crocheting until the thing's full enough and fluffy enough and then I'm done. So I sat there and made three completed and was almost done with my fourth one. And I look over at the door and here's Crafty Sue. She came to hang out with me for the day. What a game saver that was. Because now I've got someone to talk to. We can chit chat. If I need to run to the restroom, you know, not that it would have been a big deal there anyways, but it was nice having company. In fact, she stuck around the entire time and actually helped me break down my stuff. And because she's going to be setting up there March 16th, which I think she'll do much better than my day was. One, because it's before Easter. And two, hopefully she won't have the weather conditions that we had. So, yeah, it was really nice having her there. So what happened is we have the rain. So all the outside vendors canceled. The food truck canceled. At the last minute, Scott, the coordinator, was able to find someone to come and do a food truck. Well, they had hot dogs, hamburgers, and six-month out-of-date Diet Coke. And I always check the date because expired NutraSweet is nasty, nasty tasting. So, my lunch, I didn't get my drink. But luckily, the hotel lobby, they do sell drinks there. So, I was able to get myself something to drink. And I mean, I was fine with, with water, but I was starting to get the caffeine withdrawal headache. Because I had, it was like, you started your day with only one cup of coffee. Well, I started my day with just my... Uh, my Diet Coke, and then I left it out in the car. I forgot it, so it sat out there. It got hot, so I didn't even get my whole dose, single dose of caffeine. But anyhow, so we had the rain. The outside vendors didn't show up. The food truck canceled. The inside, it was full, and the people were wonderful. Super nice. Super, super nice. So because of the rain, Scott couldn't put out his signs that said that there was a craft market there. So there was no signage, no outside vendors to attract attention. The regular food truck that's supposed to be there wasn't there. And it's pouring rain. And yeah, so it just wasn't a good mix. So I cannot consider that as a test. It was practice for me. Practice for me for setting up tables and talking with the other vendors, which, again, I can't say enough how super, super great these people were there. Just, they were awesome. Now, the lady next to me, she had freeze-dried candy. And, oh, my gosh, that was so good. Every person that came in there, I swear, every person visited her table. And if they visited her table, they did not walk away empty-handed. She gave out samples, like... I like salty sweet, you know, kind of like a chocolate covered pretzel or something. And she had this peanut brittle that they freeze dried. Oh my God. That was so freaking good. It was good. All right. So enough babbling. Let's talk about my sales. I did do some sales. I more than made my money back for my booth, which was $40. And, but it certainly isn't anything to write home about. But considering all the conditions, all the things going against that market day, I think I did halfway decent. So my first sale of the day, I told you it was at 1118 and it was one of the Mallard ducks, the ducks that I really like making. Now, if I have pictures, I'll insert the pictures. If I don't, then if you really want to know what it looks like, I have shown you guys everything. You can go back in previous videos to see what they are. So I sold the Mallard Duck. Then my next customer, I sold a pouch. One of the Granny Square pouches. And it was the heart pouch. 
the only one that I had that was different. I never did get to make any more, so I only went with the four. I told you I wanted, I would have liked to have had six, but I took the four and we sold the heart pouch. The next sale was to a vendor and it was my sloth that has gone to all four markets with me and it sold on this market. My next sale was to another vendor Poor guy sitting with his wife straight across from me and having to stare at all these little cute plushies. And he come over and he bought a minion. So one of my minions sold. Then the next sale was to another vendor. She bought one of the card holders. My next sale was two items. And it was the teenage girl that was with one of the vendors as a helper. <laughs> she bought one of the snakes that I showed you guys how to make and one of the mini octos. The next sale was to a couple of the hotel workers and they bought two of the mini birds out of the Ferris wheel. My next sale was to another vendor and she bought one of the mini turtles that I told you guys how to, or showed you guys how to make. My next sale, they bought three items, and these were actually people just visiting the market. It wasn't a vendor or a hotel employee. <laughs> they bought a mini mushroom boy, a mini octo, and a mini possum. And my last sale for the day was Bluey and Bingo. This couple came in, they had, she might've been maybe three years old, and they're looking at everything and they're asking her what she wants. And she wants Bluey and Bingo. So I thought they were only going to purchase one of them because they were trying to get her to say which one of the two that she wanted. They ended up buying them both for her, So that was cute. Even with their weird looking eyes that I made. So who knew? Who knew? But that was it. I sold 15 items. I was hoping to go home with an empty tote, but... <laughs> didn't happen. Um, I didn't take everything with me. I only took um, two totes full and what could fit on the table and just a few items of back stock so that if things sold and created holes, I'd be able to place them on display. But I was like, why lug all that? You know, it's limited space that you get to set up because the tables were thin. They were 18 inches. So they told me, I thought maybe they were a little thinner or when I was doing my practice setup, which I decided not to bore you guys with. Um, maybe I, my 18 inches was 20 inches or so. I don't know, but it, I had to adjust my plan a little bit, but I still thought it looked pretty. But total dollars, I sold $147 worth of plushies. $92 was square, $55 was cash. My booth fee, which for the size of the market, I thought $40 was a little expensive, but this is just a guy, another crafter person that is putting on these craft markets and he has to rent the conference room from the hotel. So his fees have to be enough to pay for the rental space of the room. Plus you get the free breakfast. They allow you to use their luggage cart and all that. So when you take all those things into consideration, it's not really that bad priced. Now I think if the weather had been better and everything fell into place like it should have, I think I really think I would have done a lot better. Nobody wants to go out in that weather. In fact, it is still raining right now. It has been raining from the time I got up yesterday morning, and it's still raining now. So my square fees were like $2.92. My booth fee was $40. So I made like 100 bucks in sales after those fees were paid. And I'm going to just guesstimate on the things that sold. Most of them were small items. Uh, my highest priced item was $25. I'm going to guess maybe $20, $25 in materials. So that would put me at like 
uh, $75, $80 profit. It's not really that bad. Wasn't the greatest, but I got to make contacts. I got to meet some great people and I got to hang out with Sue for the day. So things worked out pretty darn good. Mm -hmm.